This morning, the Grand Canyon with a roof. We're talking about Carlsbad Caverns. 100 years ago, Carlsbad was named a national monument. Seven years later, it became a national park. Ever since, the crowds have kept growing, both to see the underground wonders we know about and explore the ones we don't. So here we're looking out into the big room, uh, which is the largest chamber in Carlsbad Cavern and also one of the largest in North America. It's like a movie set, but better. Definitely. At 4,000 feet long, 600 feet wide, and 250 feet tall, the big room is not just the largest limestone chamber at Carlsbad Caverns National Park, it is the largest cave chamber in North America. Down here, 750 feet deep, as the sun scorches the surface above, it's a chill 56 degrees. Caves are an amazing climate record. Uh, you can actually look at uh, some aspects of speleothems and they have recorded layer by layer, year by year. Speleo what? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, speleothem is kind of like the generic scientific name for a cave formation. So okay. um, stalactites, stalagmites, uh, flowstone, halictites. You know. I learned something new today. Thank yeah. you. Speleothem. Yes. Great. Erin Lynch is a scientist and explorer. She spent decades looking at cave systems around the world. Now her focus is on Carlsbad, a place that over the past century has been visited by tens of millions of tourists. But it's still a natural wonder we know less about than the surface of the moon. The moon, you're able to use remote sensing. You can have uh, satellites fly around the moon and take photographs, take measurements, whereas uh, deep within the Earth, the only way you can really um, find out what's there is by, by going there. You've been in places in these caves that no one has been before. Do you think about that as you're entering these places? Anytime a person goes into the cave, you're, you're impacting that cave environment. And so I have to, to choose like where I'm going to make that impact. New underground treasures are uncovered every year. So far, in addition to the main Carlsbad cave, we know about at least 118 other caves hidden beneath 73 square miles of surface parkland. The reason the mystery of these caves runs so deep goes back to how they were born millions of years ago. Unlike most limestone caves, which are created by reactions with water on the surface, Carlsbad was formed by an acidic reaction with water several hundred feet below. We have a whole ecosystem down here. As you look out, you might see um, cave crickets. In fact, we've got two different species of endemic cave crickets, and we also have redini beetles. Of course, you have bats who fly through mm -hmm. these spaces every night. Ah, yes, the bats, the famous Carlsbad bats. The bats come out around the same time every night? Uh, for the most part, it's pretty remarkable how consistent they can be throughout the summertime. Anthony Mazuko is a park ranger at Carlsbad. We met him at the cave entrance, where after a potential storm passed under the beauty of a full rainbow, we retreated to another one of Carlsbad's marvels. Every night, right around sunset, half a million bats emerge for their nocturnal run. Oh my gosh. There's yeah. so many of them. Yeah, and you'll start to see, um, the longer we sit here, you can pick out patterns. Are they flying in groups? Is yeah. it a steady stream? And they're, they're all just going off that way. Look at this. Yeah, so often the direction that they're flying is where you'll find the Pecos River and a lot of natural water sources. And where there's water, there's food. And this whole natural process revolves around food for the bats. Bats may seem scary, but they are essential elements in our world. They're pollinators, and they eat the pests that can destroy crops. For the last decade and a half, however, bats have faced an existential threat especially on the East Coast. White nose syndrome, a deadly fungal disease with no known cure. In the grand scale of things, white nose syndrome is relatively new. Yes. How bad is it right now? I've heard people say that white nose syndrome is the greatest mammal disaster of our lifetimes. 
The good news is that white nose syndrome has not yet been detected at Carlsbad. But the work here to keep it that way and to keep understanding this subterranean city never ends. Carlsbad Cavern is, is over 39 miles long, and in a cave of this size and this complexity, I can say with great confidence that we will never finish exploring it. There will always be more to find. It's such a magical place. It's I remember beautiful. going as a kid, and they've made improvements and made it easier for people to get around. There's sort of new, you know, they have to light it on the inside right. so you can actually see, and so it's safe. So they changed that around, but it's just gorgeous. And the bats. And the bats. I, I want to know how they found it, discovered it. I just, it's so amazing that by chance, someone came across it and now look at it. The beauty of discovery, right? There if you, you go. keep looking, yeah. you may find. You will find.